If you've ever wondered about my real feelings about my experience with yoga classes online and off, then stay tuned. Hi, I'm Melissa from Yoga with Melissa. I offer real yoga for real people. We're all about connection. Connection with a teacher and teachings that allow you to connect with your true self and to a community of people who support each other on a genuine path of spiritual transformation. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. I put out a new video like this every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you like about it in the comments. I love to hear from you and I always respond. Today, I'm going to share with you what I think is missing from most yoga classes that I've taken both online and in uh, real person classes. Most of the time, I'm deeply involved in my own self-directed practice or I am following the teachings of my meditation teachers, Neil McKinley here in Victoria, BC or Reggie Ray from Dharma Ocean. However, there are times when I venture out into the world of yoga in search of my fellow brothers and sisters with whom I hope to make a genuine connection and potentially collaborate with on my Yoga with Melissa channel. And if you go to my Yoga with Melissa channel, you'll see I have a whole playlist of people that I have collaborated with. And in my experience, I find that when I'm practicing yoga with most teachers, and I say most, not all today, I'm being guided through the physical practice of yoga that is almost entirely focused on cues, physical cues, and directed towards how to move my body and what to feel in my body. And I totally get that. When I came to practice yoga over 20 years ago now, it was because I wanted to stretch. I wanted to move my body. However, I don't believe that a purely physical point of view can sustain a genuine path of transformation over time. Our body is made up of so much more than just the physical. It's called the koshas. There is a physical layer, yes, but there's also our mental body, our emotional body, our energetic body, and our spiritual body. And I believe for a practice to be sustaining over time, there needs to be some teaching included to deepen our understanding and experience of yoga. And in my opinion, without these teachings, we will continue to be lost and confused and caught up in the anxiety, the trauma and the stress of our lives. The teachings then provide us with a kind of roadmap from our golden chain of teachers who have traveled before us and who can show us the way. And so it's important to hear the teachings from a qualified teacher to spend time contemplating the teachings. And over time, through our practice, we will arrive at a non-conceptual realization of the teachings themselves. In Buddhist philosophy, these are called the three prajnas. In our, in our membership community this month, we are focusing on them as the three ways of knowing, and we're teaching about them all over our membership community. In my yoga classes, I will almost always present some kind of teaching alongside, in conjunction with, not separate from the physical practice of Hatha Yoga. I have received almost as much criticism for this as praise over the last 15 years I have spent teaching yoga. In our membership community, I give a short teaching talk in our live classes every Monday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time and 5.30 p.m. Pacific time with time for those who are present in our community to spend in contemplation by asking questions and offering their thoughts on the talk as well. So if this is something that appeals to you, I will leave links in our show notes below for members so that you can join us in these live talks. And also a link for those of you who are interested in joining a community of members who support each other in an ongoing way in a genuine path of spiritual transformation. So in doing my preliminary research for this video, I heard one woman say, you're not Patanjali, so zip it. 
You know, what are your thoughts? You know, Patanjali actually was not presenting anything original. He was presenting his teacher's thought. I know there are, this is a controversial subject. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Should teachers zip it? Should they keep the practice completely on the physical? Or are you on the other side of the fence? Do you appreciate the philosophy, the spiritual teachings in a yoga class? Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it or let me know if you didn't in the comments. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. <laughs> let me know if you think I'm not Patanjali and I should zip it. <laughs> uh, subscribe and turn on the notifications. I put out a new video like this every single Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific and I'll see you next Wednesday. Namaste.